What's up you guys, it's your girl Brianna I'm back once again with another boot bang. So right now, I'm actually eating cantaloupe. I'm about to show you what the cantaloupe looks like. It's like that. So I cut up the sausage for my braces. So yeah, I'm about to do a story time with you guys today. So, this is going to be my foster care experience story time. Okay, so I'm I'm have to call somebody to like, explain to you. Actually, no, I'm gonna just explain to you from my experience, not their experience. So basically, my experience was I went to foster care in 2011, April. April 10th, 2011. So, basically what happened was, me and my brother, we got taken. From our grandma's house. Let me just hold the camera. Oh. Me and my brother got taken from our grandma's house. And basically. Yeah, a fire ant's trying to eat me alive. I'm trying to eat my foot, anyways. So basically, what happened was my. um, I got taken away from my grandma's house. I was living with my grandma, who was disabled. She has her hips are both dislocated, so we didn't even know how she was walking, know how she was walking, and she basically walked on crutches or whatever. And we had to help her all the time and stuff, which I didn't mind doing personally. I didn't mind doing it because it's my grandma, you know. But I had to earn respect for her because there's some stuff I didn't disagree, I, I didn't agree with. And yeah. No, I can't. Well, don't taste like right to me. It's like it's like old. I don't know. So basically, um, I got taken away from, me and my brother got taken away from my grandma. I'm the one that called the police. I, I called the police first. I went to the police station to, um, report abuse or whatever, like, um, report abuse because my aunt had slapped me in my face. She had told me that I basically was hooking up with my brother, like, who would do that? Hook up with their own sibling. I mean, that's stupid. And then she told me that I called her, uh female dog but the customer for female dog and basically I didn't do any of that so and my brother's helping me with my math homework so they took us into custody and basically my brother wasn't going to come home that day he said he was going to tell my grandmother he was going to the library but he came home on the bus because he thought knew something was up but didn't know what So basically, he came home. We both got um, taken by DCF or whatever Department of Ch Children and Families. Um, so yeah, we were in foster care from. Well, I was in foster care from 2011, April 10, 2011, until January 31st, 2014. So that's three years. Well, technically, I hit it back. Not January 31st, 2014. It was like 
2015 whenever I got adopted. So, from 2011 to 2015, I was still in foster care. So, yeah, guys. Um, basically, that's what happened. Um, do I regret my adoption? Yes, I do. I personally, honestly do I regret getting adopted. I got adopted by my grandparents, well, my dad's parents, and I truly, honestly do regret it. And I'm actually trying to do the reverse adoption or whatever, go through the court and do reverse adoption, but they don't know about that yet. And I'm not going to bring it up to them until I have the police backing me up and, like, my entire family backing me up. Besides them. I don't really need their backup. I just need, like, six or more people. They said, the court system said I need six or more people backing me up and confirming that I'm a good child, basically, and that this is, like, not out of hate, trade, or whatever. This is actually happening, like... And the reason why I do... Uh, Regret it is because I'm being verbally abused. Psychological abuse is happening. And that basically psychological abuse is whenever your parents play with your mind and make you think that you seem like you're retarded and make you seem like you're basically nothing. And this is what's been happening for the last two years. But it's just gotten worse for me to actually sit there and realize that it's been happening for two years. I just see like the constant flood is not going to get better until I turn 18. So why not just reverse the adoption, go back to Florida, and yeah. I really hope this inspires some of y'all to tell your stories, to get out and tell your stories guys. Because honestly this is like the best time I have ever had is to share my story with you guys. So yeah. I went to, I forgot how many group homes I went to. I went to two group homes, two or three group homes, and the rest were foster homes. And I've been through a lot of homes, so I know the hurt, I know the hatred, I know how it feels to live out of black bag and never knowing if you're ever going to be able to stay or not. I know how it feels. So guys, with this being said, I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. I just want to say I love you on my baby Reese, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.